coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. A UVSI Trusted Operator Program launched. Unique unveils Typhoon H+. And Intel Shooting Star Mini designed for indoor shows. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. AUVSI has announced the appointment of leading industry stakeholders to serve on a steering committee and as brand ambassadors who will develop the Trusted Operator Program for Remote Pilots and Unmanned Aircraft Systems Training Organization. AUVSI launched TOP in November to facilitate best practices, codes of conduct, and professionalism for operators of services provided by UAS, also known as drones. There is no other organization that can drive and support the UAS industry with such a critical initiative than AUVSI, said Brian Wynn, AUVSI's president and CEO. As more commercial UAS pilots are trained and certified, they will join the aviation community's long-standing culture and commitment to safe and reliable performance. The initial planning for TOP started earlier last year during meetings of AUVSI's Remote Pilots Council. RPC members and other remote pilots licensed by the FAA discussed the need for higher levels of professionalism through consistent training which would allow UAS operators flying for business purposes to further distinguish themselves in the market. In addition, RPC members said there is a lack of understanding of the legal implications involved in contracting UAS services that do not have certified and demonstrated safety and compliance protocols. This affects insurance cost, perceived market value for services, customer trust, and regulatory oversight. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Authorities in Westmeath, Ireland are using video captured by drones to identify and prosecute people dumping trash illegally in the county, leading to several convictions for the offense. The aircraft are being used by the Environment, Water and Emergency Services SPC, to fight illegal dumping in scenic areas of the county. SolarShip and Arctic UAV Partnerships recently announced the signing of a letter of intent to create a joint venture to service Nunavut. The joint venture will introduce SolarShip technology to the Arctic, including hybrid aircraft aerostats and self-reliant hangars. Initial operations will offer data collection services using uncrewed aerial vehicles and aerostats to support Inuit data gathering to be used for developing strategies to adjust to climate change. Institu has announced a successful completion of a flight demonstration for its ground-based UAS airspace situational awareness system. Under a program sponsored by the Queensland Government, Institu, along with Boeing Phantom Works International, designed and developed and tested the Airspace Situational Awareness System in Australia. The system is designed as one of the optional layers of safety to allow broad area beyond visual line of sight capability for commercial UAS operations. Fordham Technologies has announced the commercial availability of TrueView R20, the most compact, high-performance detect-and-avoid radar solution in the world. Using AI algorithms, TrueView provides accurate, real-time situational intelligence and awareness for safe, autonomous, unmanned aircraft operations. Fordham TrueView R20 weighs 1.5 pounds and is a breakthrough technology because of its small form factor, weight, power requirements, and low cost. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Unique International has announced the second generation of its proven six-rotor hex platform, Typhoon H+. The second generation of the Typhoon H features Unique's all-new, larger, high-stable six-rotor hex airframe. The vehicle offers a 40% reduction in noise from previous hex models, and stable flight and winds up to 30 miles per hour. Typhoon H Plus is equipped with a high aperture 1 inch sensor camera capable of 20 megapixel stills and 4K resolution video at 60 frames per second. The new model also boasts an improved low light performance compared to previous models. 
A continuous rotation gimbal combined with retractable landing gear provides seamless 360 degrees unobstructed views. Typhoon H Plus comes equipped with Intel RealSense technology, a sophisticated collision avoidance system that detects obstacles and intelligently navigates around them. Additionally, the Typhoon H Plus is accompanied by a newly redesigned Android-based ST16S controller, which includes a large high-brightness 7-inch integrated display and HD 720p video downlink for stunning real-time video reception. The Typhoon H Plus will retail at $1,800 and is slated to be available in the first half of 2018. Remember the drone light show presented at the Super Bowl last year? Though pre-taped, it was pretty impressive. The show is executed by Intel Shooting Star Drones, and in a keynote address at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, the company said it has developed a variant of the Swarm Drone that is safe for indoor use. But unfortunately, you can't buy one. The Shooting Star Mini can locate itself in space without using a GPS, according to the company. The Verge reports that during the keynote, a swarm of the small drones performed in the arena, dancing to Kygo stargazing. But Intel CEO Brian Krasanich said that the drone won't be offered for sale to the public. They are intended for use by presentation companies that want to put on an impressive indoor light show. The aircraft follow a pre-programmed routine and do not need to be controlled individually. A single operator can fly up to 100 of the small drones at a time, according to the company. So, while you probably won't be able to go out and buy a swarm of 100 tiny drones anytime soon, they are expected to be a common sight at major presentations in the future. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.